Welcome. In this video, we'll walk through how to create alerts from your logs in Google Cloud. My name is Alyssa, and I'm the product manager for the alerting team. Alerting is a horizontal observability experience, and alerts can be created from any data streaming onto your platform, from any service that examines your metrics and logs. There's a tremendous amount of data out there, with billions of logs and metrics streaming through systems worldwide. The key questions that SRE and development teams ask themselves are what is important and how do I find the problem and how can I quickly fix the problem before any serious consequences reach my end users. We commonly refer to this as mean time to detect and mean time to repair. The lower the values are, the better your team is equipped. Google Cloud's DevOps research and assessment in 2019 we saw that well-equipped customers were over 2,000 times faster in their time to recover from incidents. This happened while they also had over 200 times more frequent code deployments than teams who are not as well organized. With Google Cloud, when an alert is triggered, your appropriate tools for logs, metrics, and dashboards are all available for faster debugability. So to answer the question of what is important, you'll want to first create an alert from your logs. You'll want to create this if you want to be notified immediately that a single event has occurred in your system. This may apply for a variety of situations. This includes security concerns, such as unauthorized access or unexpected IP addresses. This could include system runtime issues like host errors or production errors, or smaller events that are impactful to your team. So let's get started and walk through a demo. We'll start off with the Logs Explorer. Here you can interact with your logs, understand them by severity level, and view this information over time. You can run any kind of query that you'd like, and this accepts standard regex expressions. We have one saved here that we'll run, and this searches for the error, uh, an error for a red team at the zero node in production. If this event happens for our team, we want to be able to create an alert. So what we'll do is we'll come over here under actions in the top right corner and select right here, create log alert. This opens up a slide out panel and you can start to fill in the form to create your alert. First, we start off with an alert name that is meaningful to your team if they see it. And then we move into documentation. The documentation is a playbook that says, if this alert were to trigger, what are immediate steps that your team should take in order to debug the situation and to have a faster recovery time? The documentation is a playbook that accepts any kind of markdown language, and we suggest that you also include any kind of links to internal knowledge share documents that you have on your side. It also accepts any kind of um, variables where you want to automatically pull in any data, such as the project information, research, resource type, and others. We'll go ahead and move on and choose which logs to include in the alert. Since we had this query, it automatically pulled in the relevant log information, and we can preview it to make sure that it's correct. If it's not, you can always come back here and edit your query and um, change the expression. From there, you can set a option, an optional snooze time between notifications. What this says is, if this event is happening and you expect that it's happening at a larger scale, you want to be able to quiet the notifications while your team debugs. So the default quiet period is one hour between notifications, and you can set this as low as five minutes and as high as seven days, or choose a custom period. For now, we'll keep the default. Then the question is, is if this event were to occur and the alert is triggered, who should get notified? This is supported with all of the standard alerting notification channels. That includes email, SMS, mobile push, PubSub, web, and Slack integration. Here, we'll go ahead and choose an email. Once we click Save, then the alert policy is created, and we can go ahead and view it down here. We can review the information to make sure it was correct. And from here, we can see that the logs that match, any incidents that have happened historically, confirm the notification channels and documentation procedures. When the incident occurs, according to our notification channel, we'll get an email. And the email will look something like this. When your appropriate team receives the notification, they can go ahead and click the View Incident button, which takes them to the Incident Detail page. From here, they'll be able to understand of the, what's happening, read the labels that are appropriate for this issue, 
and begin to debug. They can come in here to view the logs and begin their investigation. And so that, in a nutshell, is how to create an alert for your logs and then how to then begin exploring and debugging when the incident is created. If your team is looking for to create an alert after a certain amount of logs have been triggered, then you're looking for a different feature. And this is called a log-based metric. It's available up here in the top right corner, and this is create a metric. This is available for teams that are looking for alerts if there's a deviation from expected behavior. One example might be a retail company. If, for example, they're expecting X amount of checkout failures and Y amount of time, and if that expectation is breached, then they want to be notified. Um, that is different, and here what we're talking about is log-based alerts where we're focusing on anomalous events. Next, the question becomes of how do you take the first step and how do you cross the line to get started? The first step to answering the question of what's important in creating these alerts is to read the cloud alerting, uh, the Google Cloud alerting documentation and to understand how to uh, approach this line, uh, with your organization. You can use the doc, the doc variables in your alert documentation for faster debugging. Today we explored this in the UI, and if you're looking to automate this at scale, the same functionality and more is available via the API to be managed via Terraform or other automation tools. And as a reminder, if you'd like to be alerted after a count of logs have, are present in your system, then you're looking for log-based metrics. Thank you for joining us, and we wish you the best of luck on your observability journey.